The violence in the still-occupied northwestern Tigray could perhaps be the most horrific in terms of its scale and systematic nature, resulting in the displacement of hundreds of thousands of Tigrayans. A deliberate and systematic attempt has been made to cleanse northwestern Tigray of its majority Tigrayan population. We visited IDPs where many of these IDPs have been forced to seek shelter. We spoke to a group of IDPs displaced from Western Tigray and Northwestern Tigray that tell us of the heinous nature of the violence that had forced them to abandon their homes. I used to live in Abdurrafe in the Amhara region of Ethiopia until mid-November of 2020. A few days later, I was displaced by the Amhara militants to Humora, Western Tigray. Unfortunately, I was also imprisoned inside Humora for about a month. Right after a release from detention, I fled to Shire, northwestern Tigray, in search of welfare. Then I sheltered almost for two years there. However, now Shire is also under the enemy forces right after weeks of non-stop bombardments. That's why we are forced to be displaced for the second time, leaving all what we had. Our journey was tiresome. We have seen people dying inside cars due to drone and rocket attacks on our way to Magala. First, I was displaced from North Gondar Matame area, Amhara region to Western Tigray in 2016, leaving all my belongings behind. Regarding this issue, I haven't got justice yet. On top of this, I was also forced to be displaced from Western Tigray following the genocidal war declared on Tigray in November 2020, and I have been sheltered in Shura. Sadly, more than 60 internally displaced people were killed due to drone attack while we were traveling by a truck from Shira to Shiraro on October 4 of 2022. It was horrific indeed. Fortunately, I survived. The atrocities are unspeakable. Salam Tlahun, a seven-month nursing mother who is now suffering from epilepsy, is also the other survivor of a brutal shelling of artillery in Shira. She says she has seen civilians dying of drone attack carried out by the joint Ethiopian and Eritrean forces. I was displaced from Seti Tumara to Shira. Life was terrible there due to the fatal siege. On top of this, at the time, Ethiopian and Eritrean forces were bombarding Shira blindly. I also left Shira for Aksum, looking for relatively better safety. However, artillery shelling and aerial attacks continued till we reached the town of Adwa. Many of the IDPs whom I knew were killed at the outskirts of Shira. Now we just came to Ma'ala in search of shelter. However, I can hardly get shelter, food, and medicine. I'm suffering from epilepsy. It's painful to see my daughter lacking my motherly treatment due to my illness. I am from Shire. Many of our neighbors have been killed due to rocket attack. Many pregnant mothers were giving birth along streets. Fifteen civilians have also been killed in Belis, a small town in between Shire and Aksum, due to drone attack. The attack mainly targeted the elderly, children and women, not the military installations. Recently, we are also hearing that Eritrean forces are looting warehouses and abducting our belongings to Eritrea as they used to. It's shocking and annoying. Araya and Taglai, both IDPs from Western Tigray, have also expressed their frustration regarding the humanitarian strife in Tigray's follows. Even here in Magale, we couldn't receive food and medicine due to the all-encompassing siege imposed on Tigray for over two years now. I am abandoned. No one is going to help me. I don't know the whereabouts of my children yet. It's been almost two years since we weren't in touch. We're having our third year now. We're about to perish as a society due to lack of medicine and food. The siege must end now. We deserve shelter and food. We want a swift action. We want the all-encompassing siege be lifted so soon with practical evidences. This have already gained since a truce was reached with no concrete measures yet. We need the Ethiopian government and the aid delivering organizations work the talk. The number of IDPs in Tigray is increasing at an alarming rate as civilians stream from cities occupied by the Ethiopian and Eritrean forces in fear of fresh atrocities.